What's up, Brooklyn Squad? Mm, it is 11.39 p.m. And I wanted to bring you guys a little update that I have been working on. So I need you guys to hit the thumbs up. And um, I also need you guys to continue to share Share, share this video, share this live. Let's get this young man some shares. Let's get his face out there. Let's get him in an ad rhythm so that other people could start posting him as well so that we could bring him back home to his family. Please, this is Sister's girls, children's family. It hits different when your kids family member are missing. So welcome to Brooklyn Squad Real Life Drama. I need y'all to hit that thumbs up, hit that thumbs up, hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget, if you would like to donate, I have a PayPal and Cash App. It's right there below if you would like to. I appreciate that. But I wanted to jump on here, right? Because, see, I'm invested in this because Sister Girl is my people. She's like, we became real close, Right, like I consider her a friend, and see, you have to use that word very carefully in any situation, rather, it's these YouTube streets, or these Facebook streets, or these real live streets, or your real family streets dealing with real family business as well. Just like when you say the word love, those words are deep for me. Just, just for me. So sister girl is a friend. And see, when you're a friend, you're like family. It depends on what kind of friend you are to me. If you're a friend and my ass is up for hours, goddamn, and riding, chilling, and talking, and crying, and we just getting vibing, and there's a connection, then you a family. So Jason Pierce is just like family as well because he is Sister Girl's children's family. So I wanted to bring you guys some information that I found out. Now I caused the, and I want to make sure I'm getting this correct. So let me go and look at the flyer to make sure that that was the right name. Okay. Because see, what I do is, right, when you're doing missing cases, right, you want to make sure that you're really out there. You're really searching. You're really getting this information that you need to get. And you can't get information that you need to get if there's no information to be put out. It makes it very, very difficult for any content creator to do anything if they don't have the information. So when families are so secretive and they don't want to say anything and they're being hush-hush, it makes it very, very hard for us to do our job. But that doesn't mean that we stop. Oh, no, we never stop. We just go harder. Because, see, what people fail to realize is it's not about the family all the time, right? It's really about the victim. 
It's about the missing person. And in this case right here, right now on Brooklyn Squad, real life drama, it's about Jason Pearson, who is missing as of July 13. We are in August. His family is just now finding out that he has been missing. Allegedly. Now, Jason has been married to his long girlfriend. They say that they are married, um, but they are been together since they were kids. So you can say common law, I guess. Right? Common law. But um, she didn't tell the family right away that her husband was missing. And see, to me, that's not good. I feel now, okay, so the thing is this. Jason had pushed his family on a back burner allegedly. Okay, he wasn't calling his family like he was like like other families talk every day or talk maybe once every week or talk maybe every other day some things just wasn't clicking with him and his family and he didn't keep in contact with them anymore so because of that the wife did not the common law wife did not tell the family that their loved one was missing a whole month, two months now. They're just now finding out. And that's a problem. That's not good. Now, I spoke to an officer today on the phone. And what he told me was, this is not a crime. There's no crime committed. This is just a missing case. And it's only a missing case because he's an adult. He can go and come as he please. Right? He said, talk to his wife because we talked to her. So when an officer tells me that, that's telling me, well, what is his common law wife saying? What's going on? Is she saying that he had issues and was there any issues in the relationship that she might have thought that he walked off? Because like I told the officer, his keys and everything, his wallet, his money, his ID, everything was in his tractor trailer. He was close. He was with us. We would loved his wife and kids, right? They had a relationship. He wouldn't just go missing. He just wouldn't just go walking off. You send the dogs out there, and then when it was the Kate, then it was a cold trail. Well, officer, what's going on? And he said, It's no crime here. There's no crime. But he's a missing person because he's grown. He come as he go. Talk to the wife. When you hear things like that, you tend to wonder. Because when the wife says, the cops told me not to speak and not to say anything. But then they say, talk to the wife. And they're just telling a YouTuber who they never asked me for my name or any information from me and just wanted to tell me anything. I find that a little strange. I don't think that this young man went walking off. I think that this is not good at all. I think this is 
a crime case. And I think allegedly that someone might be putting something in those cops' head. And they know damn well that this is fishy. But they might be a little lazy. And Carly might have, Carly Russell might have fucked shit up so bad that they're like, you know what? Let them fend for themselves. And this is what we mean when people do fake kidnapping cases, Carly Russell, because now we do have a missing case and he's not getting the response that he should be getting. Because of a Carly Russell that decided she wanted to fake her own kidnapping and thought that that would be a perfect idea to get her job and her man's attention. Well, Carly Russell, what are you going to tell Jason Pearson's children? Do you have any idea what you've done? What you are putting other family members through? You selfish witch. You selfish witch. You demonic. <sighs> Only sick minded people do crazy shit. And now Jason is missing. And no one seems to take this serious. The feds, they say, are in. But um, it really doesn't sound like it because it's not on the news at all. And if the feds are in, this would be on the news and it would be hitting the channel like it's no tomorrow. So whoever said that the feds were really in, was the wife, did the wife say that to somebody? Because I didn't get that from the cop that I spoke to. Now, we have another issue where the drop-off that he made, the wife says, no cameras. There is cameras. We found cameras. So you can't say that there is no cameras on a shipping place distributed food warehouse. Impossible. Impossible. Who in the hell would ever believe that anyway? You're trying to tell me a big, huge distributor warehouse in Maryland at that. Not one camera's working. Not one. Come on. I looked it up and I found cameras that was working. His wife refused, his common law girlfriend wife refuses to come on social, on the internet, on YouTube, or on Facebook, well, on any platform. She says, um, because it is an open case, so she can't talk about anything. We don't want to see your face anyway, honey. We just want to know where Jason is. You don't have to show your face. You can even call in, but you're asking the public and the Facebook and YouTube and everyone for help. 
Well, guess what? We need some answers from you too. We have to all be in this together. We all have answers and I'm sure his children has the most answers. Where is Jason Pearson? You know, I hate to bring cases like this when it has to do with someone that I know, that I'm getting very close to, that I'm bonding with, that has their own cases that they have to work on on an everyday basis like I do. But when it comes to when it comes to their family or their children's family, when it comes to their children's family, it's a whole nother board game, baby. I really, really hope that somewhere out there he is safe and he just needs to be brought back to his loved ones that truly he needs to be brought back truly in one piece safe so many things are going on out here in this world and it's like who took over Who took over? I just wanted to bring you guys this. This really kind of makes me a little sad talking about the story. Um, because like I said, sister girl, this is her kid's family. And you don't never want to see your kids going and suffering and crying. You don't never want to see your kids suffering. Unhappy. You don't never want to see them going through another sad case where a father of two or three is missing. Father of two or three beautiful children and a common old wife. Brooklyn Squad, keep praying for this man, please. Please, let's hope that um, he's out there safe. Hit the thumbs up. This is Late Night with Brooklyn Squad. And I will see you tomorrow with my girl, sister girl. On a few other cases that we're working on. Everyone, have a blessed, safe night. Have a blessed, safe night.